Welcome to Fast Tip Friday. This is Amy bowser with Litigation Sport Guru. In today's tip, I want to share with you how to create a batch file that will copy files from one location to another and rename the file names along the way. So this is a spreadsheet where I'm calculating what the formula is going to be to create the copy command. So in the end, we're going to use this copy command in a batch file and run the batch file to do all the work, which I'll show you in a second. But I want to start with showing you the components of what go into the copy command. So everything in green right here, in the green columns, is the file listing of where the files are now and what the file names are now. So you can see that there's a bunch of subfolders here. So Deponent Smith, Deponent Williams, various documents in each folder. This is how they look right now. But what we need to do is get the files into a new folder called Trial Exhibits and rename the files for what they are now, rename them to Defendant's Exhibit Numbers. Okay, so that's our goal. So this is the copy command that needs to happen to make that happen. So if you look carefully at this, you see there's a copy command, then there's a quote, then there's the full path and file name of documents now. Then there's a close quote, a space, an open quote, and then the path and file name that we want it to go to, including the new file name and a close quote. So let's show you how it works and then I'll come back and show you how I got this formula. Okay. So once you have the copy command here, once you've created the formula and you've got your copy command, that's your end result. So you want to copy all of the copy commands. Now picture you would have a really, really, when we do this, we have really, really long lists. So you would copy the formulas, the copy command, all the way down. And then you're going to paste it into a text editor. So I'm using Notepad instead of a text editor because some people don't have text editors. So I'm using Notepad. And all I did was copy and paste the copy command into this text file using Notepad. So you can see it's still the same exact statement. It's still the first part in quotes, a space, and the second part in quotes. And I named the file whatever I want dot bat, B-A-T, for batch file. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Here's my batch file on the desktop. Here's the files in their folders as they are now. So there's two files in the Deponent Smith folder and two files in the Deponent Williams folder. And I want them to end up over here under trial exhibits with their new file names. So I'm just gonna double click on the batch file. And like magic, you now have the new file names in the right place, okay? So again, if this was a longer list, it would take a little bit longer but it actually runs pretty quickly. Okay, so let's go back to the spreadsheet and let's break down this formula. So when I click in this formula bar up here, it colorizes things so it makes it a little bit easier to see. So you can see in the beginning there's the copy command. That's pretty easy. There's ampersands everywhere that connect everything. So ampersands are saying, and this, and this, and this, okay? Character 34 is when I needed a quote. See how I have the quote at the beginning and ending of each of these file paths and file names? That's character 34. So then you can see the cells that I pulled together. So I pulled together this, and this, and this, and this. And in between each of them, I had to add a backslash, which is why there's backslashes between ampersands here. Okay, and here's the closing quote for the first part. Then this part right here is just adding the space in between the two parts, which is right here. And then I basically do the same thing again, 
open quote here, character 34, close quote here, and I'm combining or concatenating F2 and G2. And then when you go down to each one of these, you can see that it's now F3, G3, F4, G4. So basically you put the formula in the first one and then just copy it down to all the other cells below. Which remember, in a previous Fast Tip Friday, I showed you that you could just double click on this fill handle and it will fill it in automatically all the way down. Okay, so that's the formula. So the parts that you're missing as of this point are two previous articles. So one of them is a Fast Tip Friday where I show you how to get your file listing. So the first part of the formula was where the files are now. So you can get that file listing using DOS, and this video will show you how to do that. It shows you from running the DOS command all the way through getting it into Excel. So that part's covered here. And the second part is concatenation. So this is an article I wrote that explains what concatenating is, and it gives some examples of how to pull things together, including you can see here I'm adding a backslash, here I'm adding a space. So read this article and it'll walk you through concatenation. And so you can learn it that way. Okay, so I hope you can put this tip to good use.